So this is a very short and very simple tutorial on how to do a render sequence in Arnold in Maya. So this shows how to get a, a sequence of images out of the renderer, which you can then take into Adobe Premiere or into Blender or whatever editing software you want to use in order to export a movie file. Because we can't export a movie file in Arnold in Maya, uh, although we can do that using the um, uh, Maya there is a Maya renderer that will render an .avi file, but if we want to do Arnold, then we've got to render single images. Now, if I go to my um, uh, my render settings, so I'm just going to open this window up a little bit so that you can see them. Uh, there we go. That reveals the the render window. So if I just click on that, you can see that we've got a single image of this little yellow beetle chugging along um, on a sunny day in Cartoon Land. Uh, very simple animation, extremely simple lighting setup. This is just this physical sky lighting setup. Uh, nice blue sky on a sunny day. Kind of kind of lighting setup you might want for children's TV, something like that. So now what we want to do is render those out as a series of images. That's what we're after here. So in order to um, do that, we need to go into our render settings. So I'm just going to make sure we're in the rendering menu here, top left. So there we are, rendering menu. And then I'm just going to scooch this over here until we get to the render settings. Uh, let's just pull that over. There we go. So there's our render settings button up there. That's this with a little blue cog there. And just in the common tab, we just want to make sure that we're rendering using the Arnold renderer, obviously. What are we going to render? Uh, JPEG works fine. Um, quality I've got set to 100. Um, frame um, animation extension. I've got name.hashtag.ext selected here. Name.hashtag.ext. Frame padding I've set to four. You don't need to worry too much about these settings. You can always experiment with them on another day. So I'm not going to go into the detail of why we're doing this. As I said, this is a quick video just to get a, a, re a render sequence exported. Renderable camera, obviously the shot camera. You always want to render from your shot camera. And I'm going to render, so normally a prob you generally want to render HD 1080. If you're looking for slightly quicker, lower quality HD 720, I'm going to go for HD 540, which is quite low quality at this point, but that's just really for the speed of this so we can get on with it. And then we've got to tell, um, uh, we've also got to select our frame range, and so that's very important. Now in, in my shot here, I've got um, 100, let me just close that out, I've got uh, 199 frames of, 99 frames of a car chugging along, that's four seconds. But what I'm going to do is into the, into the render settings, just to show you how this works, I'm just going to render, let's say, the first 10 frames of this. So I go to end frame 10. So we'll just render out 10 frames, that's less than half a second, um, just to make, just to uh, uh, um, demonstrate how this works. So then we go close. And then we're going to go to um, render, um, batch render, uh, no, sorry, um, uh, batch render will give us a watermark. We don't want that. Render sequence, options box, and then render sequence and close. So we're just going to click on that. And now Arnold is going to start rendering. So now what we really want to do is just, um, uh, wait a minute, what's it doing now? should be rendering. Yep, I can see it's rendering actually. I can just see down there bottom left it's starting to render out those frames. Now if I want to see what's going on all I need to do is go to my folder uh, where I've in my, my Maya project folder. So if I open up a window then I can go and take a look and see what's going on. So I've just opened up a window. I'm, I'm working on a Mac at the moment. I'm going to go into my documents folder. That's Maya projects and there's my beetle um, and this is the these are the frames that are being output here so you've got um, I can see a series of frames there all of which will look almost identical because that's this little car just kind of chugging along um, and if I shift select say the first four frames and then open them with my preview the default um, software on a Mac for this stuff I can see that I've got if I flip through between those I can see I've got a, 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 an image sequence going and when I'm done with the render I can take all of these images and open them up in 
pr I'd probably use Adobe Premiere, but it really doesn't matter what editing software you use. You can take these images and then pop them in your editing software, add some music, sound effects, whatever you want, and export it as a movie file. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to do a very simple render sequence in Arnold, in Maya, with no fuss and no bother.